What is up, trainers? It's your boy Trainer Power here with another review, a Gemma review of the Wicked Cool Toy Season. What is it? Season 3. Season 3 Battle Lights Wicked Blaziken that I never reviewed because I couldn't find him. He's my favorite Pokemon Blaziken, my favorite Pokemon next to Infernape. So this should be awesome. You see, um, Season 3, both the battle battle figures of Eevee with a smile, and you got Toga, to, Toga tomorrow. I'm looking forward to Toga tomorrow. And we got the Silk Pokemon Scale World Mewtwo. I owe this all to you because I've been out for a few days. But anyway, who am I going to start with? Um, I've been waiting to open Blaziken, so let's do Blaziken first. I'll be right uh, Let's see. We got Blaziken in the picture. Let's get him up in here. You can see Pokemon on the top. Blaziken action feature. I think it's a kick. What else are you going to do? Blaziken. You see Blaziken's awesome picture right here. Battle feature figure. You see fire and fighting. Season 3 Blaziken. On the back, you see the figures we already reviewed. We reviewed Blastoise. We reviewed Gengar. And we reviewed Lapras. So let's get Blaziken open. Waiting to do this. Uh, should we even look at the? No, throw it over there. Should we even look at the? Well, let's do it for old time's sake. Focus the picture. We reviewed basically everything in the set besides the select features and select the clip and go, but we had those on the way. Stay tuned. Oh no! Okay, I got them on the side. I'll open them up. If this was to break, I'd be so pissed. And anyway, we see Blaziken right here. This one actually looks pretty good. Arms articulated, but we're not gonna do that right now. Oh crap! I'm sorry. See Blaziken's face. See the eyes painted. Let's get it focused. Eyes painted. A little fuzzy, but they could be better. But everything could be better. You see the long hair. I love Blaziken so much. My favorite Pokemon. First game I ever played was, well, the first game I ever beat or played through by myself that I've owned was Diamond, but the first game I ever played was Ruby, and Blaziken was the star I chose. But anyway, you see Blaziken right here, you see the little yellow on the chest. Why does it keep on focusing? You see the little flame things, they're like a soft pliable rubber. You see the hands are soft with rubber too, you see the nails painted in, everything's cool. You see the little feet and the nails on the bottom. Articulation for this guy, you see his arms are on a ball joint hinge, and then uh, this arm, no, his hands don't move. So, boy, that's a nice range, and it's both of them, so both of them are pretty cool. You do a little, hiya, hiya. But that is a battle feature figure. A battle feature is that his leg kicks up. But let's test it out on somebody. You got Hunter right here, one of my favorite figures from Cool Toys. You see him right here, and he kicks him with fear, but Hunter is really heavy, but he does kick him, it does work. Battle feature figure about oh he does have the waist swivel too, so it does get it. You know, the sun's so bright today. So you, now you do see Blaze against cool, but uh, let's do some size comparisons. As you can see, he's right here next to the Wicked Cool Toys Hunter figure. Now you see him here with his Mega Evolution counterpart with the Tomi Takar Tomi uh, Mega Evolutions articulated figure Blaze again. These two go look together, but he's just way too short to be his Mega Evolution form. And the last comparison for Blaziken, you do see he is next to um, Ariadacta from the Wicked Cool Toys Battle Feature line. These two look good together. Blaziken might, well, you know, the stand makes him taller, so we're just going to get into it. Next figure, we're going to have Blaziken off to the side as we review the Season 3 Battle Figure Pack of Toga Tomorrow. And we have Eevee with a smiling face. Toga Tomorrow right here, Eevee. You see Toga Tomorrow is electric and, um, is that steel type? Yeah. And you see Eevee's a normal type. You see him right here in the face, all that stuff, Pokemon on top. You see all the figures that we reviewed in the past. All of them are pretty good, but let's get this guy open. These guys open. These girls, guys, whatever it is. I just knocked over a bottle. Got the packaging. All right. Back in right, see Toga tomorrow. Don't want to stand up. Anyway, we're gonna look at Eevee first because we do have Eevee from a couple cool toys. You see Eevee right here smiling. A little white powder. That's what happened in the early days. Oh, it just came off. Eevee smiling right here. You see the little fur's all good. The little tail's all bushy. Not really much to look at with these figures. They don't articulate or anything. You see Toga tomorrow right here looking awesome. I was really excited for this because Toga tomorrow is one of my favorite Pokemon from the anime. Oh, from Pokemon period. Like, but the anime had him especially cool with the little, little zigzag. Zigzap, whatever the moves called. You see Togemaru's angry, determined. You get the little play, the pause buttons for the cheeks, hands, everything is sculpted in. But let's get some size comparisons for these guys. You got some size comparisons for these guys. You see Eevee right here with the other Eevee counterpart. 
And now you see Togemaru standing next to Larvitar, and you got Growlithe right here. At the top of the hall, we have Togemaru right in front of Togemaru, we have Togepi. Let's get into the next few fig the next figure we have. And finally, we do have the Pokemon Scale World Mewtwo. Now for this figure, it might take a little bit longer just because, so I'm going to move Blaziken over here, and move these figures over here, just so we have a little space. You see Pokemon Scale World in Japanese, you see it in Pokemon Scale World in English. You see Mewtwo right here looking cool. Mewtwo is one of the bigger figures from the set. Mewtwo right here in the front, you see Mewtwo on the package front, you see all this letters, you see Venusaur, I need to get Venusaur. The next one I'm going to do this line, I think. You see all the Pokemon in the back, I need to get the cancel starters. I don't even, I think I have Charmeleon, that's it. Why is this always unfocused and it's because of light. You see all the Pokemon figures in the back, you see on the bottom, winning lottery numbers, all that stuff like that, Pokemon scale world on top. Mewtwo, let's get this guy open. And of course, these Pokemon Skill Ward figures always come with a piece of gum. Always handy for them. My breath stinks. See Mewtwo right here. Let's get them open. Let me see if I can get my box cutter. Couldn't find my box cutter, but I do have a knife. So let's get this open. No, oh, they cut it. But how are you guys doing today? I know today is a good day. It's going to be a good day. We have mad pieces for Skill Ward figures, but I love these Skill Ward figures. They're very, they're all in scale with each other. I'm proud of that. One might be a little bad, I don't know, but on top of that, they're all cool. I'm like, they're not really posable as far as like other figures, they're not posable at all. But you do see they're pretty cool figures. Here's Mewtwo's tail. And what is this? Uh, oh, a stand. I don't really see some uses for some stands, but... So what you do is you plug it in during this way, you see the line pieces match up. Mewtwo, excuse me. Man, anyway, you see Mewtwo right here. Mewtwo, does he? Oh, that's why he needs to stand. He doesn't stand up right. But before we put him on the stand, you see Mewtwo looks very good. Very accurate to the anime. Or the games, if you want to say. Look at the eyes painted nicely. Nice big figure. The hands are painted nicely. The tail's painted nicely. Everything's looking cool. Yeah, you see him cool. But the stand is right here. You just see a little clear stand. You put him on, I think you put him on the back. Yeah, it looks good. It looks like looking down, but yeah, let's get some size comparisons. First size comparison, you do see Mewtwo next to the Takara Tomi. No, this is a really cool toy Mew. Look good together. Mew's on a stand just to make him move around for stop motion that I am working on. So don't don't worry, but we have more. But next size comparison. Next size comparisons we do have next to the Pokemon Scale World Typhlosion. Mewtwo is supposed to be a little bit taller, so that is accurate. Next size comparison. And the final size comparisons we're going to do. These um, Pokemon Tournament Hero of Action Heroes of Mewtwo for, and the Wicked Cool Toy Battle is featured Mewtwo. And as far as sculpt goes, this Mewtwo wins by a long shot. This one looks all blocky, but it's more articulated. This one looks like a big headed version of Mewtwo, plus on top of it, he can't stand up to save his life. But this one, as far as sculpt goes, always gonna win. But this one, it kind of an articulation department kills it. But um, let's get some montages. But yeah, guys, if you love this review, leave a comment, subscribe for more. I will be back with more videos as soon as possible. I will not take the long hiatus of 17 days like I did last time. But yeah, if you like these kinds of reviews, leave a comment, leave a like telling me, and a comment telling me you love these kinds of jumbo reviews, and I'll try to do more of these. That way I get more figures out that, I'll, that I haven't done, so I'll finish them off, and you'll get the reviews you want. But um, see you guys in the next video. Don't forget, keep training.